Hey guys, James at Carps and Farts. So I have a lot of simple questions. People are just curious, how do you, you know, tow a golf cart? So I've got a six by 10 trailer that I tow with. I had a five by 10, but I just upgraded to a six by 10. And I've got this club car president and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Now, if you do it my way and it flips off, I'm not responsible. I'm just trying to tell you how I've done it. Been doing it for about four or five years of taking them on two and three hour trips and hadn't had any problems. So first thing you do, obviously pull it, pull it on the trailer. All right, so when I pull it on the trailer, I try to pull it all the way forward until the tire touches the front of the trailer. And then I lock down my brake. Now on my trailer, I've got these little quick ratchet straps that makes it very easy. So as I pull those out, on this lower A-arm, uh, this is a heavy-duty Mad Jax. A lot of them will have just tubes, kind of similar to the upper one. I just loop it on. So in this case, I'm gonna have to go right to the hind joint. But as long as you get a good pull on it, do not use this. I don't think that's gonna be strong enough, but that's not gonna break off. And then once I ratchet that up, it pulls the whole thing forward. So let's do the other side. All right, once I've got the hook in there, Now, I've got it pulled forward in two different places. Now, what happens if you don't have these ratchet straps? So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna come across the floorboard. The floorboard is very solid. It's got your aluminum frame or A-frame on there, but I promise you, this piece here is solid. So let me show you how I do that with a ratchet strap. This is the way I would suggest to, to tie it down. You wanna hook it underneath the bottom. Now. I'm doing this by myself. I do a lot of stuff by myself. You got two people, somebody can just hold it underneath a uh, angle iron or some type of hole, some kind of post right there. But what I do is I take a little uh, elastic bungee cord and hold it so this doesn't fall to the ground. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to do it. What this is gonna do is pull all the force forward. That tire is not gonna jump over that rail. When you come up over your floorboard, come behind your pedal group. Don't put it in front of here because it's going to end up, end up probably releasing the breaker or somehow another jacking with that. So pull it behind there. All the pressure is going to be on the floorboard. As I come around here to the other side, I've got it looped on the bottom. Now I'm going to start ratcheting this with one hand. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's pull. I know my hand's shaky. But once it starts to pull the suspension down, that's good and top, taut, tight. It probably pulled it down, I don't know, an inch. And that is solid. Uh, I do have thicker ratchet straps than this, but this is the one I'm gonna show you for the video purposes. If you wanna put two on there, put two on there. But once you pull it forward, there's no reason to pull it back. You know, if you've got a strong enough front uh, crossbar, you shouldn't have a problem with it. Now, I can haul a limo on this cart, but I've gotta back it in with the platform that goes over the front gate. Well, why do I hook it to then? Well, on these lifted carts, if you can see the old shock plate, which is right there, that's where your shock absorber went. You can put the hook in there. It's not gonna loop around. Or, or you can just loop it around the axle. So whatever you feel, you get a good pull on it, again, pulling it forward. If you do tow these things backwards, I would strongly suggest to take the windshield off or reach out to me to buy one once the wind blows it off because that's what's going to happen. So anyway, that's the way that I tow them. Like I said, if you don't do this often, you just got a ratchet strap, you don't have those fancy $30 Amazon uh, ATV ratchets, just pull it right across the floorboard. I've pulled them a couple hours away, never had a problem. Again, guys, thanks for tuning into my videos. Uh, I just try to be helpful to folks. Um, if you want to repay me back, just uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I'll have a lot of little quick fixes for especially club car presidents. Occasionally, I'll do some other golf carts, but that's kind of my bread and butter. But uh, just a quick video how to tie one down. Um, so be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, reach out to me if you have any needs for eco batteries, plum quick motors. Those are my two biggest sellers. But uh, anything in the golf cart world, uh, reach out to me. You never know, I could probably be helpful to you. So have an awesome day. Thank you.